you see she has the bow spread. She's got a large uh, 40 kg rock net anchor. She's got nice, uh, nearly three foot of uh, underwing clearance. She's quite fully equipped. Uh, she sailed over from South Africa and she was the uh, showboat uh, at the Annapolis Boat Show um, in 2018. So you might ask, well, why is he selling the boat? The owner is selling the boat, um, not because he's dissatisfied with it, but in fact, because he is quite satisfied and he's uh, gone ahead and ordered the new Nisna 55, which is a five foot longer uh, boat built by Nisna Yachts, which they're tooling up for him now. So he's quite excited about having his new boat built. As we come around this turn, you'll see that it has a stainless steel hydraulic tender lift. I'm on the tender now. So the tender drops right down in the water and then can be uh, brought back up out of the water with a simple click of a button. So that thing, um, and also as you can see, he's got the full cockpit surrounds um, for cold weather uh, and sun protection. And now it's uh, also, as you can see, he's got the barbecue. So this concludes the uh, exterior uh, video. I'm on the yacht, uh, Private Island, uh, 2017 Nice to 50, to do a, uh, a video walkthrough of the uh, boat. This will be the interior walkthrough tour coming through the cockpit. So on this yacht, you have a uh, single bulkhead helm, which is on the starboard side, and a large uh, opening top, uh, glass top, and then also above it, a sun bimini with uh, surrounds, clears that you can put down in foul weather. All of the lines and sheets uh, come to the winches up top and reefing station, so you can operate the boat from this single position in both foul and nice weather. As I go back, you can see it's an easy open walk through to the stern. You have a beautiful uh, uh, teak table in the cockpit, a large lounge, including a beanbag chair over there, which they like to put up on the uh, trampoline of the boat when they're at anchor. Then you have a U-line uh, ice maker in the cockpit. And then as I walk in to the main saloon, we have a uh, fridge-freezer combo, stainless fry isotherm, a large um, settee area for uh, lounging and dining. And then as I turn to the uh, port side, of the saloon, you can see that there's a large uh, flat screen TV uh, installed and embedded into the wall. And the owner, being a high tech company owner, has uh, one of the finest sound systems you can imagine, in addition to the best Wi Fi and satellite communications. The yacht is really just absolutely loaded with all the equipment you could possibly want uh, to sail around the world. So, this is also kitchen storage over here. And then as I turn, you have a large U-shaped galley with two really nice, large, deep sinks. And then storage and a bar on the opposite side. So I'm gonna walk down into the port hull, which on this shot is the owner's side of the boat. So at the base of the steps going down from the saloon, you have the owner's office space. He's got his uh, laptop set up and then, a, and then a separate screen and a chair and storage. And then as I turn looking aft, you have this really large, gracious owner suite. The queen size bed and nice big, large glass windows storage above a television mounted on the wall for the uh, owner's cabin and then lots of storage the storage is designed uh, to allow air to get in um, he has this uh, floor carpeted but um, it can also um, have a composite flooring installed for those that want it he just likes the carpet and then you have a big sliding owner's privacy door here which comes across to close out the saloon and then as you walk forward you have an owner's um, 
large mirror and makeup cabinet, three large cabinets along the side, big windows, and then of course your owner version shower. So you have a large standing shower with a hatch above it, and then a toilet, and a sink. Lots of great lighting and everything. And then along the side, you have more storage. And there I am looking back through the entire owner's cabin. The access for the generator is here amidships. Behind that mirror, you open it up, you have your generator, water maker, all centered amidships and really easily accessible and nicely sound shielded. So now I'm walking back up the steps from Port Hall over to the starboard side of the boat, walking past the kitchen, galley area, walk down the steps. And then when you get to the bottom of the steps, there's a landing, which leads to a door with another private queen bed, ensuite, television, large windows, lots of storage, overhead hatch with ventilation both behind and on top and then I slowly as I turn around cabinetry and then there's a door and a private shower toilet combination with a separate uh, glass enclosed shower stall and a toilet and sink and vanity mirrors as I come back now I walk forward in the starboard hall. In the midships across from me, you've got your electrical panel. All nicely done. Battery monitoring system. really easily accessed and then on the opposite side of the electrical panel amidships you have another freezer that's ventilated and then down and then you have an athwart ship's queen berth forward the landing on the bed and steps in a seat storage on the outboard side again with the large windows and a big television and then forward of this you have separate glass enclosed shower stall a toilet vanity sink and mirrors lots of storage in the cabinet uh, in the main uh, cabins on this boat and on this side, you see you have the composite flooring, which is easily put on on the opposite side for those that want it. And then I'm walking back up, turning, and then looking across the saloon and towards the <laughs> aft cockpit of the boat. So that concludes the interior walkthrough of the yacht, and I will shortly do an exterior walkback.